hate it when this happens. <laughs> Throw it way up in the air. Oh. We're, caught, we're like caught in a cyclone or something. Okay, you can stop any time now. Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy. Gaming in in this episode, we are going to continue the, the storyline, the Artemis storyline. Um, we're going to do a couple things first before we do that. Um, I have five auxiliary... Uh, what the heck are those things called again? Augmentation thingies. Yeah, storage augmentation. So we're going to uh, put that on our starship. And uh, let's see, we also have... Our frigate is back from its mission, so let's check that out and then send it on its way again. We will all eventually, you know, work on building this up um, very quickly here. Possibly even in the next episode, we're going to have an episode or two dedicated to working here on our freighter. Um, so let's do manage fleet, awaiting debrief. Oh, you know what? Actually, we have to do that back here. Debrief Commander. units. One crew member consumed. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, very interesting. We got some some stuff. A convergence cube. A total of two hundred six thousand credits. Okay, that's not so bad. Uh, did it put all that stuff in a freighter? These are used for upgrading. Okay, so we will keep those. Uh, those will just sell. Condensate. This is crafting and trading, so we'll keep that. Yeah, quick I look. And this is for trading. 100,000 units. Okay, not bad. Very good. Okay, so that wasn't too bad of a mission. Um, let's go ahead and. Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh, let's go ahead and send it out again. It's not, you know, it's kind of a cool deal because we just send it out and we don't have to do anything else and it comes back and brings us money and. And stuff so I'm, I'm down with that 
And I know we can improve it by increasing the size of the fleet and getting better ships and that sort of thing too. So we'll, we'll definitely be working on that kind of stuff uh, as time goes on. Um, a combat control. Yeah, I don't think we want to send this ship out on a combat control. We'll probably get its butt handed to it. Um, why don't we do... Let's do this short, balanced expedition. Assigned ship to expedition. Science vessel assigned. Launch expedition. All right, there it goes. Okay, cool. So, um, we are now at um, 58.4 million and we we have once again uh, close to 9,000 nanites I have um, see I found I found one s class ship uh, here's the footage from that Okay, and um, so yeah, and I probably, I must have, I don't know, I probably came across another three to four um, ships in, in varying classes. And uh, so yeah, we got lots of money uh, in terms of upgrades. We we have made some changes. I took a couple notes here. Uh, so we, did, we upgraded our starship shields. So I had 30 plus 30 shields in here and now we have a plus 38 and a plus 34 a couple of x modules that we've replaced the s ones with and then i put the s ones on the radiant pillar for for the time being so that way you know if they're being used for something if we use that ship at any point in time um and then let's see for multi-tool um i got another s class uh, uh, analysis visor her up, uh, visor upgrade, and then went and scanned some more critters, and was seeing like over three hundred thousand now for some of the larger animals. So we're working on uh, getting that bumped up. So we got that done, and oh, and I also um, added to two S uh, shield modules, and found a better one of these from some sentinels that I had blown up. So we, we were in a much better shape in terms of our shield and our health on our character. And I think that gets you guys caught up with all of the significant things that happened off camera. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and head over to the space station first and add those augments to our starship. I did have one S-Class uh, fighter dock in my freighter, and I was tempted to get it, and I, I can afford to just outright buy it now, but I decided not to because it wasn't really that much better, um, if any better, than what I currently have, and it, I didn't really like the way it looked. It was all rusty and kind of beat up looking, so I decided to let it go. Okay, so let's see, upgrade ship. Apply augmentation, and um, we actually do have more spots here that we can apply to it. And I'd rather get all the technology slots filled up first before the cargo slots. Um, so yeah, let's just do that. Okay, so we only have four more slots to go. Um, oh no, sorry. Yeah, four more. One, two, three, four more slots to go on the Starship, and then we will have it maxed out in terms of its technology slots. So let's look at a couple of things now that we've done that. Um, if we... 
just looking at the stuff that we can make. That's a 7% shield strength. Conflict scanner. Um, we could make room for this hyperdrive module, which increases our range significantly. I should probably, though... The other thing we could do is we, we have room now to, to to put the positron ejector on, and I have one or two mods for that. Um, that would give us more pulse drive power. Yeah, let's um let's actually head back to our freighter first, and I just want to see what mo modules I have available there. Yeah, the, the fighter that had landed on my ship looked very similar to this, and it's just kind of beat up looking. I like the I like the form of it, you know. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a, a modern day fighter jet, but I just didn't uh, think it was worth spending. It would have cost me like 24 million or something to buy it, and I didn't want to exchange it for this one. We got here that's an a class all right yeah so let's head back to our freighter and um, just see if we can make our ship even a little bit more stronger okay so we have a blue positron module here let's grab that oh I forgot to sell this stuff great uh, I don't think we'll use the cyclotron <laughs> I mean, it's it's not a bad weapon, but I think the Infernife is far better. Here's another Positron module, so let's grab that. Let's look at this first. Yeah, yeah, we can't we can't use this because we're already maxed out on the up, other upgrades. So anything that I'm I don't think we need, I'm probably just gonna get rid of just to free up some inventory space. So I'm gonna put that down below here. Okay, we're maxed out on in impulse, or I mean pulse engine stuff, so we can't put any more upgrades for those. We're maxed out on shield upgrades. We're not maxed out on um, on hyperdrive stuff. So the first, I, okay, so yeah, I think the first thing I want to do is let's move the phase beam tech over here, and I want to take. And install this because right now we have a hyperdrive range of 151.8 and that bumps it up to 520 so it's like a huge huge increase in our range for our hyper hyperdrive so this is another pulse engine module yeah you know I think that I took that off because these S classes are better okay so now that I know that I'm gonna set this put this down here to sell it a launch thruster module what does this do this, eh, that's not really that big of a deal, I don't think. Uh, so we'll sell that too. Okay, this is a a shield module that's plus seventeen. Yeah, not even close to as good as what we have. So we'll sell that. Okay, that's the positron thing. We're gonna sit on that for a minute. Starship shield module. Once again, only 15% shield strength, so that will sell. Okay, so that leaves us these three positrons. The question, though, is how do I get them in a square configuration so they're all three touching? If we took this and moved it up to here, we could get them in a line. I mean, I guess we could do that. It's, it's, you know, this isn't our main weapon anyways. Our posit, or I mean, our infra knife is our main weapon. Oh, you know what, though, too? Yeah, we, we have to install the thing. Um, but we, what we could do is put that up there and at least put them in a line. Okay, so yeah, let's um, let's do this. Oh, we need uranium. Oh, 
Yeah, we're gonna have to go get some uranium for that. Okay. All right, well then let's install these. Heat dispersion and fire rate. Oh, this is for... Oh, this is a multi-tool item. That's not a positron cannon thing. So this is... Okay, so this is for the neutron cannon. Okay, so this I want to put back and hang on to it until the time, if and when the time comes that we that we use that. Okay, well let's install this then. And that will give us a little more beef uh, with the positron ejector. So why don't we just put this guy back in that slot for now. And that way it's just installed. So we're just going to have to come up with some uranium to get that guy going. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, all of these we, we just don't need. So I think we'll just sell them for the purpose of, you know, ma uh, making some space because we're, like, really low on space in here. Okay. So that... That allows us, uh, or frees up a little bit of room in here. There's still a few more of these I, I really do need to kind of go through and check, but I don't want to spend any more time right now doing that. So I should mostly just do that all off camera anyways. Let's run over to the space station. All right, guys, let's uh, go ahead and sell a couple of things here. We're going to sell the pearls. We're going to sell the uh, neural duct. Okay, I guess that's all we want to sell there. And um, what I want to actually do before we get back on the storyline is I want to go get some uranium. And I might start using uranium for charging this when it, you know, it's not charged up. But I guess we have some launch fuel. We should probably use that up first. But... Um, oh yeah, we need to sell all of these modules too. We're not going to get a ton for them, but we'll get a few more nanites. But I just need to get rid of them as all, because we've confirmed that what we have is is better, and I want to keep taking up space. Uh, I mean, the other thing is, I guess the other thing I could do is just make more storage and hang on to them, because we're going to eventually get a second ship. Boy, it's hard to decide. Yeah, maybe I will. Maybe I'll just hang on to them for now, and I'll, I'll just make more storage for them. Okay, well, let's uh, let's do this. Let's look at the systems that we are familiar with. One of one of the systems we've been to has uranium. I just don't remember which one it is. Yeah, it is. It's New Kong, because that's where we started from. In fact, that's where we have our very first base that I just did for the quest line. So yeah, let's go back there. We can just warp right to it. You don't have to use warp fuel or anything. So this is OG Pre-Base. I had originally named this um, describing the multi-tool that's there, but then we, we eventually went and bought it, so I just figured we'll call it a pre-base. And then I'm going to name all the, all the bases that I build, you know, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So right now, our first base on the red planet is OG Alpha. Oh, I also renamed my freighter to OG One as well. There you go. Man, I haven't been back here in a long time. We need radiation protection here, so let's see. I've got a radiation module. So we're going to swap out. Uh, we could probably swap out the two cold ones, so let's store that and store that. And then I have a radiation shield and 
this guy. Okay, so charge and charge. Yeah, that's another reason why we could use some uranium. In fact, too, now that I think about it, it'd probably be a good idea to put that there so it's also next to the hazard protection. All right, we need to find some uranium here. That's a silver deposit. There's a uranium right over there. In fact, that's close enough to where we don't even need to take the starship over there. Oh, we didn't scan that thing. Oh, look, there's some floating crystals down there. So we got one full stack and another 300 and some odd uh, uranium there. Now we can finish building this. Cool. All right. Let's head uh, back. A little bit of carbon in there and we want to go to this system here because that's where our quest is where we resume our quest okay before we take off I want to set up another storage here uh, so we have zero one and two set up well three is the one we need to build and we're gonna put it over here Okay, so we need to contact whoever this Apollo individual is. Contact Apollo from Mahalo Terminus. Frequency Apollo was the final transmission from Artemis. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on here. Okay, so this is an approximate location. Ooh, we could get some storm crystals. Three of them right here. Let's do it. Extreme All right, back in here. We need to change back in, into our cold configuration, cold protection configuration. So we'll store those. Is this our cold? Yeah. Uh, nope. Install. And I think this is also the cold. Right. Okay. All right. Um. Let's just wait for the storm to to quit, and then we'll fly around, and we should be able to spot the terminus pretty easily. happens. <laughs> Throw it way up in the air. We're, ca we're like caught in a cyclone or something. Okay, you can stop any time now. Good lord. Okay, I want to get up there quick and get this done before another really nasty storm comes in. Tune to Apollo. Apollo hollow projection. The transmission is silent. The stranger just stares at me. 
uh, Great Apollo. Identify yourself or I end this call. Say you are a friend of Artemis. No, you're not. <laughs> Ask why. Why do you use that word at all? Friend. It is just a label, a pretense to make you feel better about being alone. Why are you contacting me anyway? Is Artemis behind this? I haven't changed my mind. I don't care about their weird dreams. I'll meet if I'm paid to meet. Even this conversation is a waste of valuable time. Say Artemis is in trouble. I tell Apollo that Artemis is in trouble. That they attempt to use a portal and become stranded on some distant and uncharted world disappearing from the network. Apollo's demeanor changes. They appear uncomfortable at the news. How can I tell <laughs> that thing appears uncomfortable? There's no facial expression. Send me your data logs. Let me see this for myself. Upload the log. Apollo studies the log, pausing and replaying the various segments of the static and distortions. They turn to me with a glow of excitement. These noises, they sound just like the echoes of sentinel events. You've seen them before, of course. Drones that appear from nowhere if you if you interfere with their precious planets. But this data, it's distorted, inverted. There's a lot to gain if we figure out how the sentinels appear so quickly. And this, the portals, perhaps they're the key. Um, okay. I'll agree. So what do you say? Do you want to work together on this? Be partners? Sure. If you're going to work with me, we need to expand your base of operations. I'll send you a contact of mine, and they'll supply you with what you need. Just remember to be polite. I'm always polite. What are you talking about? As the hologram recedes, Apollo's head turns to the side ever so slightly, as if sighing, saddened. Or perhaps it was nothing, a ghost in the machine. All right. Paul's contact is outside local system. Consult the galaxy map. Oh, here comes another storm. Yeah, we got to get out of here. Where's my ship? This place is brutal, man. Okay. I'm not even going to bother checking those buildings. Let's just get out of here. Okay, check the galaxy map. Alright, so... We need to go to this two-star Viking system. And it looks like it's a red star, perhaps. Let's do it. The Zulu Zoo something system, first contact. Okay, cool. Toxic planet. Activated indium. Uh, we should get some of that, because I don't think we have any. In fact, I don't think we have even normal indium, for that matter. Um, but we will do that later. of our tech slots done first. Let's see what you have for sale. Life support module. Okay. And uh, that's it. So let before we buy that, let me just look at something here. Exosuit. Yeah, we have, we actually have a B and a C that we can swap out with S's, or one of these could be swapped out with an S, anyways. So let's got, let's buy that. Okay. Right, let's um install this. Okay, so it's going to have to replace probably the B one. 
Oh yeah, definitely want to replace the B1. Okay, so we'll pack that up and probably just sell it. Because this is the only suit we're going to get in this playthrough. And we'll put that over there and that's given that a bonus. And this little guy a bonus. 53... 50, 47, 26. This has a lot more solar power. 66. Okay, nice. Um, what do you have for modules? Starship shield. Yeah, I, I already... I think this is probably just going to be a 30, and I, and I already have that stuff. Uh, we don't want a cyclotron module. I'm not really interested. Okay, so he didn't really have much there. Uh, let's look at this. It's a C-class. Yeah, it doesn't have the slots that ours does, so I'm not even going to bother with it. Let's see what you have. You have no S-class at all, huh? Okay. Fair enough. <coughs> uh, let's go grab these. Yeah, there's another traveler. Talk to this guy. I approach the lost traveler. Their skin is translucent. Unexpected. Hello, my new friend. What business would you have with me? The life form tries to shake his head, but pauses as we face through one another. They are fascinated by the encounter, claiming to be a traveler. It is clear they come from a very different region of space. They have never heard of the Gek by Keen Corvax or Old Guy Gaming, or of any sites I have encountered. They wish to know more in the spirit of cooperation. Um, tell, yeah, we don't need to bargain. Let's just tell them. I tell the traveler about the spe species I have encountered, sharing with them my scans names of planets I have been to, the words I have learned, they are curious, asking more and more. Nothing I say satisfies them. Eventually disappointed, they grow quiet. They hand me a gift, thanking them for what little I was able to tell them. What did you give me? A memory fragment. What do we do with that? This is something we consume. A pre-packaged launch auto charge. Oh, this is for launch thrust. Launch thrust. Ew. Okay. Here, let's um, let's take a look at that. I don't have any spots at the moment, but let's just um, hold that down for a minute. Ooh, it's S class. Nice. Okay. So this gives us twenty minus twenty launch. Oh, that's just the stupid automatic recharging one. You know what, though? I should keep that for other ships, though, because not all the ships we're going to get are going to have sails on them. So that's what we shall do. But we don't need it on this ship because the sails automatically recharge the launch thrusters. Okay. Um, I'm not really too interested in hiring people for the base yet. We probably can't go back here. Huh? We need an Atlas Pass or something. Um, because we don't really have all that set up. We, we will eventually get it set up. And probably we're going to set it up on the freighter too, but we don't have that right now. Okay, let's go talk to this dude. This dude. Secret Keeper Monexia. No, Mo Moquinxia. Gra, interloper, you are late. You were supposed to arrive minutes ago. Minutes ago? Nonetheless, the price isn't paid and I have obtained the requested upgrades. New modules for your base and protect against the elements. Where is your base sighted? What sort of hazard protect protection meets your needs? Um. Oh, so he's asking us what we want. Toxic is what we have the least of, so I'm going to say toxic. Wisdom Traveler, from your expanded base, you will be able to explore freely and return from any station. From your expanded base, you will be able to re May the Light of Atlas watch over you. What the hell does that mean? Oops, 15 salvage data. Oh, nice! 
so we got some prefab stuff. Very cool. Okay. I'll take that. Let's go in here real quick. More nanites. Can't do anything with that, right? Okay. All right, uh, let's see. Let's go here. Ghost in the machine. Return to a previous base marked on the galaxy map or use the base computer to build a new base anywhere. Existing bases are not removed by creating a new base. Okay, well then let's go back to our, ba our, our OG Alpha base. Because that's where we have a base computer. But I'm gonna come back here and we're, you know explore those planets and get any new minerals that we don't have yet, like that activated indium, for example. Hey, okay, we haven't been here in a while. We do need to make the fourth storage down here too. Can't tell if that's sticking out or not. We'll just... A little bit, but eh, it's, it's good enough for now. that in there uh, we never actually looked at this either did we toxic protection module okay. let's put that down here Maybe these other ones all right let's do a save and we will talk to our base computer Uh-oh, it's not doing anything. Let me read the thing again. Expand and staff your new home. Construct terminals for specialist researchers and find recruits aboard space station. Oh, so now we have to do this. Oh, interesting. Okay, so the first thing we build is a construction terminal. We need chromatic metal and pure ferrite. And maybe move it over that way a little bit. Construction terminal. Requires a skilled overseer for operation. You, you can recruit overseers in space stations. Let's go take a look-see. Okay, now, aren't the... I know these overseer guys can can be in the back room, but I suppose they can also be out here too. And don't they have the name overseer, if I recall correctly? And we got a milestone. We're an ambassador, look at us. Let's go into this back room. You're a guard. You're a mining overseer. You are a technician. Let's talk to this guy for a second. Is it really you? Forgive me, I've been searching for a long time. You've been paid, it's above board, right? Okay. I'm assaulted by a pheromone. Overseer promised to expand my base, allowing me to recruit higher construction overseer. Oh, okay, so we can use him as I thought he said he was a mining guy but we'll take it they shall feel at home in my home I will be at my station before you know it see you soon friend okay there we go we got ourselves an overseer all right you guys it's time for us to wrap up this episode 
Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that system, that new system in the blue star. Um, I'm going to scan the planets and mine any uh, resources that we that I don't have. And then when I'm finished with that, I will bring you guys back to start the next episode. And we'll just keep, we'll, we'll assign this guy and then we'll we'll keep going um, with this with this quest line. How come I can't get out of here? Oh, so I wasn't going far enough to the door. All right, so with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. What is this? That's a C-Class. That's a C-Class. That is a C-Class. All right, see you guys.